Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and today with me is the newly launched Nokia 130 2023. Now as you can see that it is written here as the Nokia 125. I assume that this is for the Chinese variant. But um, from what I have checked, this is exactly the same as the Nokia 130 2023 which is about to be launched officially in Indian market right about any time now. Now, some of the details that is written in this packaging includes a 2.4 inch display, a 3.5 millimeter head jack. You can play an MP3 file with this device. It supports up to 32 GB of your micro SD card, has an FM player, and has a very large 1450 mAh battery with micro USB for charging. As you can see, it also comes in this beautiful blue and purple color, but with me is this beautiful brown color, which is the first for me uh, to have one of such color with me. Now, uh, pretty much this is just a standard packaging, and I believe that this is going to have a rather limited release because of its pure 2G connectivity. Now I'm going to do a simple unboxing here and see what does this device can do for us. So as you can see, this is a rather simple packaging here. And um, this is basically just the most basic set of feature phones that you can actually purchase in the market right now. I'm going to put this beautiful device aside and see what's inside. Now you can see it's just a paper packaging and you do have the pamphlet for the details of the device as well as the micro usb charging cable now what is not included here is the uh, charger itself so as you can see uh, they are not including chargers anymore even for feature phone devices and uh, very minimal packaging which is pretty much what you can expect these days from many devices so i'm going to put this aside and take a look into our beautiful device right here now this is the brown color and i'm going to talk a bit more of this device in a while but let's check what is inside here now as you can see this is a rather tough polycarbonate body and uh, hmd global and nokia have been producing very good quality devices even in the feature phone segment and you can see how rigid this uh, polycarbonate is and this is one of the things that makes HMD Global and Nokia stand apart from their competitors even at this ultra low price point. Now um, I'm going to highlight on what's obvious here in a while but let's just take a look into what's inside. Now for this Chinese market what you have is a dual SIM device which supports 2G only. We've got a micro SD card slot right here which supports a 32 GB micro SD card, a dual SIM card and pretty much that's about it now what we have here is a rather large 1400 milliampere battery which promises up to 20 hours of talk time and up to a month of standby time so i'm just going to put that inside here and you can see a rather large speaker and a single led light at the back of course do take note there is no camera here now just take a look at this beautiful and rigid polycarbonate body as you can see beautiful brown color really like the design and has this beautiful circular uh, circular grill for the speaker which really adds into uh, making this device stand apart and as you can see here what is uh, unique with all these devices that uh, HMD Global or Nokia could have simply just thrown in a rather uh, plain looking body but they went a step ahead and give this device a laser treatment so now you have ridges on the back i hope you can see these ridges so what this this ridges gives you is a rather satisfactory grip in the hand now the device is not too thin it's not too thick it's just about the right size to be hold in uh, one hand comfortably and all the edges here as you can see they are smooth and quite rounded so really feels good in hand now on top of the device you have a 3.5 millimeter head jack and this is the micro usb port where you charge the device pretty much clean on the right and the left hand side of the device and on the bottom you've got a single microphone now back to what is obvious with this device now on the back you've got this expected nokia branding but a rather large speaker grill 
Now I have to say that uh, this is probably one of the loudest feature phone that I've tested. The speaker is incredibly loud and clear and you can feel easily the hall of a home um, whether you want to listen to radio or having conversation with anyone. This would be the device if you are especially having hard time hearing or anything like that. This speaker is going to do the job just well. You've got a single LED flash on the back. Now, so you can see the beautiful ridges in the back really adds into the character of the device. The design at the back makes this device easily stand out from the rest. So I'm going to put this device on. Now, just a while ago, I was saying how rigidly the polycarbonate body is. And as you can just uh, see, the speaker is pretty loud. Now, as I've mentioned earlier, this beautiful polycarbonate body is sturdy and rigid. But strangely enough, when it comes to the button on the front, I'm not sure how HMD Global has managed to pull this out. This feels so comfortable, so soft, and it's something that feels so luxurious in hand. So each of these buttons here are well demarcated. They stand apart from each other. They are slightly elevated to give you this beautiful tactile feedback. Now what's interesting here is these buttons are just very soft in hand. At the same time, feels very, very solidly built. Now what you have here is a 2.4 inch display. And as you can see, the 2G connectivity is available in certain countries in certain markets so do take note that it might not be available in majority of the market but most emerging uh, markets including in malaysia you still get to use the 2g connectivity now do take note that this is purely 2g not 2.5g so don't expect for mms and uh, things like that and um, let's take a look into what this device has to offer so once you go to the menu you are treated with the standard s30 platform this is where you make your calls and if you can see here let's just make a call to one of the uh, helpline now this is rather the most basic set of features among feature phones as you can see you have rather limited options even if you were to make a call unlike the uh, nokia 2660 flip that i reviewed earlier you have options to record the conversation even uh running on the same platform but it is not available in this device so this is the basic of what a basic phone can uh, provide so don't expect much from it and if you go into the contacts now you have uh, the standard layout for your contacts uh, and uh, you can actually group them according to your favorite contacts so you can just assign for example i can assign this contact as my favorite contact and then you've got this a uh, couple of um, symbols to denote whether they're friends uh, whether this is probably work, family, girlfriend, I suppose. This is probably girlfriend. This is probably wife. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, home, your guy friends and friends. So, yep, you can denote with all these kind of things, but you can't assign any images uh, to them like it is available in the Nokia 2660 Flip, which is rather interesting. Now, so when it comes to messaging, you are greeted with the standard layout for a S30 platform and there is a T9 dictionary included to make your typing experience ever slightly better than before. Hi, how are you? So typing is certainly a joy with this device. As I've said before, has a very beautiful rich polycarbonate body but at the same time one of the most comfortable keypads ever on a Nokia device. So for those of you who like to play snake game do take note that it is included here and you've got this uh, rather iconic game here and as you can see the loudspeaker is extremely loud and clear. Now unfortunately for uh, this device per se uh, unlike the devices like the Nokia 2660 Flip and uh, other S30 devices I've reviewed before, uh, it seems to be only bundled with a single game here. So you may or may not have options to purchase other games uh, depending on the market uh, that this device is available. Now coming to calendar, one of the things that a lot of people have asked me is uh, how many inputs can you have on each calendar so you can just go on and remind uh, add reminder for a particular day set an alarm for it and you can 
continue just adding multiple reminders for each of the uh, dates that you want to and you can go and view each of the days so it gives you a list of reminders that you have set and you can also have a general overview of the calendar here which is really nice but do take note that it doesn't sync with your gmail calendar for instances because this is just a basic device now flashlight is available uh, if you ever need to do one, especially if you're going to check anything yeah. in the dark. But do uh, think one thing nice here is the layout for the calculator, which is rather, rather unique looking here. So you can do two times two and you get four. So rather easy way of uh, getting your inputs there. Now let's go to music player. Now I don't have any mp3 files here, but do take note that you can actually sideload the mp3 uh, files into your micro SD card and have this basic mp3 player to play whatever music that you want, either through the loudspeaker or through the 3.5 millimeter head jack. Now you do have a voice recorder, if at all you need to have some voice memo left on the device. And uh, one other great feature about this device is this FM radio. Now do take note that um, the FM radio does work without the uh, 3.5mm head jack connected to it uh, but having the 3.5mm head jack connected to it allows it to have a much more better reception. So otherwise you can still pretty much um, listen to it. Let's go for auto tuning. Let's just stop there. And you can see how you can control the volume using these buttons here and you can tune into the frequency so you can play and pause all through the single central button here which is really really intuitive and you can control almost anything for your media player especially the radio and the mp3 player all from this button right here thank you so let's take a further look into the settings so as you can see this is a dual sim setting device and pretty much there is no internet here so don't ask about uh, any internet connectivity now this is what makes this device uh, different than the Nokia 2660 flip for example because that has an LTE connectivity you do have an Opera browser installed and you can actually uh, browse the net through the Opera browser but it is not available here so you can check the tones here you can set the ringing volume and this is the maximum volume as you can see it is really really loud and clear now for the display you can change the wallpaper you've got a beautiful combinations of wallpaper here you can check the uh, change the intensity of the backlight as you can see here pretty bright and you can also have a standby screen so this is how the standby screen looks it tells you the time which is really interesting and uh, these are really added features that uh, it's hard to find in feature phones these days especially from the competitors out there now one other cool feature about the Nokia 130 right here is it also has an IP52 rating a rarity in this price point now what it does it gives you certain uh, certain protection especially come to water splashes and even exposure to dust but definitely you're not going to be submerging this device into a water to test it out but rather you would feel uh, really comfortable having this phone exposed to a certain drops of water every now and then now having said that the combination of the soft and hard material is on the Nokia 130 right here really enhances the exp uh, the experience in hand it really feels comfortable it really feels luxurious and this is definitely one of the best keypad experience I've experienced from a Nokia device till date really really soft really comfortable really rich experience and I think this is really brilliantly done now do take note that this device is intended for emerging markets where 2G is available. So um, if you look into a device that uh, fits all this, then I will really suggest the Nokia 130 right here. So I do hope you enjoyed this simple unboxing and uh, hands-on experience. Uh, it's going to be available for the Indian market pretty soon. So I do hope that you catch this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Do take care.